What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield news update video. Today, we got the Out of Armor DLC, but we also got a brand new Max Raid Battle event that is available to all Pokemon Sword and Shield players, regardless if you have the DLC or not. And I wanted to make this video because this is an amazing opportunity for all of us in the community to band together, whether you play the DLC or not. This is going to be a gift for everyone, and everyone is probably going to want this gift. It is, of course, Shiny Zero Aura. Let's jump into the Pokemon website to find out officially how we are going to be able to grab one. This news was also broken down inside of the Pokemon press event that happened today. And oh my god, that event was crazy. If you want to see my full reaction, I do have it live here on the channel. As well as my reaction to Pokemon Snap being revealed for the Nintendo Switch. I literally cried like a little baby. You should go check that out as well. It says, earn a shiny Zero Aura in Armor and Aura in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. If 1 million trainers defeat Zeraora in a max raid battle, players can receive a special Pokemon along with items that will be useful in the Owl of Armor. The Owl of Armor, the first part of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass has arrived. To celebrate the release of this new chapter in the Pokemon Sword and Shield adventures, players of those Games can participate in max raid battles against the mythical Pokemon Zero Aura from Wednesday, June 17th, 2020, which is today, until Sunday, June 28th. Zero Aura will appear in max raid battles, so gather your friends as you attempt to take down this mythical Pokemon. Zero Aura has the potential to appear in three star max raid battles or higher. And in 5 star max raid battles, there's a chance you can encounter an especially powerful shiny Zero Aura. You won't be able to catch Zero Aura after defeating it, but if at least 1 million trainers manage to defeat Zero Aura during this special event, a shiny Zero Aura will be available to everyone in Pokemon Home. Yes, you will need to download Pokemon Home in order to pick up your Zero Aura even if you are not using Pokemon Home. I repeat. You would need to download Pokemon Home on a mobile device in your Nintendo Switch in order to receive your Zero Aura, your Shiny Zero Aura, in your Pokemon Sword and Shield games. Which, again, is not a paywall because Pokemon Home does offer a free box to all players, regardless if you're paying for the service or not. And with that free box, you can obtain the Zero Aura and then send Zero Aura into the Pokemon Sword and Shield games, even, again, if you don't have the DLC. In addition to Shiny Zero Aura, every player who takes part in these Max Raid battles will receive a piece of Armor Eye Aura for every 100,000 trainers that defeat Zero Aura after the first million is reached, up to a maximum of 10 pieces. Armor Eye Aura can be used in the dojo of the Isle of Armor if you have Pokemon Learn Move. If the target numbers are reached, you'll be able to claim your Shiny Zero Aura in Armor Knight Aura via the Mystery Gifts menu in the mobile device version of Pokemon Home from Monday, June 29th, 2020 until Monday, July 6th. So that's going to be the end date. So you have to have Pokemon Home installed, ready to go, grab it before July 6th. Please note that if you do not have the expansion pass to encounter or receive Zero Aura, it says note that you don't have to have the expansion pass to encounter or receive Zero Aura. You don't need it. You don't need it. If you have Pokemon Sword, if you have Pokemon Shield, you're watching this video, you can encounter Zero Aura. You can participate in this event and you can also pick up your shiny Zero Aura. It says you must have deposited Pokemon in Pokemon Home or moved a Pokemon to Pokemon Sword and Shield from Pokemon Home between Wednesday, June 17th to Monday, July 6th. That is the end date. You basically gotta just jump into Pokemon Home and move it a Pokemon from Sword and Shield into Home so it can register the game to see if you actually participated in this event and to basically update to give you the shiny zero R if you participated. It says note, linking with Pokemon Sword and Shield is a feature available only 
in the Nintendo Switch version of Pokemon Home. For more detail, please visit the Pokemon Home Pokemon Sport website. It says, assemble your best team this electric type mythical Pokemon and help players from all over the world reach 1 million victory. And be sure to check out the Isle of Armor, the first part of the expansion pass. Yes, yes, available now. So again, I think this is incredible. This is a dope way and I barely, oh, I hope the Pokemon company learns from this and does this more in the future. Like giving us a task to actually receive these shiny mythical Pokemons or mythical Pokemons in the future. I think it's pretty cool that we as a community have to work together to get this goal. And then once we reach this goal, we do get the event gift. I think that's cool. I do wish there was like something in game, like a story tied to this to kind of receive it in a story lore sense. But you take what we can give. They are learning. They are doing better events inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield that they have done in the past with, you know, Pokemon XY, Sword, Sun and Moon. So again, we do see the progression there. I kind of wish it was kind of baked in to the DLC where it was like a story and then we got Zero R. However, I do see them wanting to give players who haven't gotten the Sword and Shield DLC access to Zero Aura as well and access to the shiny Zero Aura. So let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about this Zero Aura event, the shiny Max Raid Battle Zero Aura event. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so let's talk down there. Let me know your thoughts on Zero Aura. Do you think it's pretty cool? I think it's pretty cool. I already have one in my Pokemon home. I moved it from Pokemon Bank from Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. However, Shiny Zero Aura never happened in the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so I'm glad that we finally getting this guy inside of Pokemon Home. He's probably gonna stay there. I probably won't. I probably bring him over to um, Sword and Shield for a video, but then bring him back into Home to keep him nice and safe there. So let me know your thoughts of everything in the comment section below. Peace. I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. I got a ton of videos coming out on the DLC, so be on the lookout for those as well. Peace. I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all. All of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one